Hi guys, Ian from FootballBoost.co.uk here and with the end of the Hypervenom Phantom 2 in sight with the Hypervenom Phantom 3 coming out in early 2017 I'm going to go through all of the Hypervenom Phantoms that have been released in this second series of the Hypervenom We're going to start off with the Silver Storms They were released in 2015 They were the Wolf Grey Total Orange colorway and we saw them in time for the 2015 UEFA Champions League final and also the Copa America of that year. They had the grey dynamic fit colour with the grey upper and then a lot of the details were in this total orange. We saw, we saw for the first time the Hypervenom graphic print that would be dominating the boots throughout the generation and we also had the total orange with the Nike swooshes. There was a bit of black detailing and we saw this kind of fragmented design on the sole plate which was really nice to look at. The next boot we saw were the Women's World Cup. These were in the Blue Lagoon Vault White and these were the first women's specific Hypervenom Phantoms. Again we saw their graphic on the side. That was made up of the Vault and the Black and that design again was seen on the sole plate. Really nice touch of the Blue Lagoon in the upper and a very nice start for the women's colorway for the Hypervenom Phantom 2s. The next colorway we saw was the Lightning Storm and that was using the total orange that we'd seen in the Silver Storm but that was the main color this time around so it meant we had an orange dynamic fit collar and orange all over the boot. Even that Hypervenom graphic was in the orange as well so it was very much a total orange pair of boots. The details though were in black so you had the black on the outlines of the Nike swooshes and there's a really standout release as part of, the, part of the Lightning Storm pack. The graphic on the bottom of the boots looked very nice too. Suitable boots for Tigger. The next boots we saw were released at the same time and they were the Neymar Storm. And that's what we called them because they were released just for Neymar. There's a little difference between how they were released in North America compared to how they were released in Europe. You got different pairs available in different places. But these were the ones that Neymar was wearing for his games. They were colorway was officially called Green Strike Vault Black. No other players wore them apart from Neymar and it just had the black graphic on the bottom tied in with the green, really standout release with that green collar. Then we saw the Techcraft versions. This was the first Techcraft pack and it had the black upper combined with that Lightning Storm total orange color. Really nice color combination, big favorite here at footballboots.co.uk with the black and orange combined. Very nice use of the leather on the top. Unfortunately, it still did have some of the synthetic stuff underneath the leather, so it wasn't exactly the greatest release. We thought for these would have been nice to just been having the pure leather for that real touch. But overall, looked really nice. Didn't have the graphic on the bottom though. Back to the synthetic upper was the Electro Flare Pack. And this came out in autumn and it was all about having those bright visible colors on the pictures as the nights got a little bit darker. Hyper Grape was the main color, accented in black and then was more Hyper Grape in the dynamic fit collar. Vault was really stand out, that was that one color that really picked these boots out. And they changed the graphics on the side for these so it didn't have that kind of Hyper Venom shadow graphic. Instead it was more of like a splatter which also was seen on the sole plate, looked very nice on the sole plate. And this is a kind of design that we'd almost see in a future Neymar release. Back to the Techcraft and Nike were using that for the canvas Techcraft so it had that vault color as the kind of primary color on the dynamic fit collar and across the sole plate but then they had this canvas for the uh, upper of the leather. Quite a nice boot in um, touch but wasn't necessarily the most appealing to people. People didn't necessarily like the combination of the canvas and the vault. Wasn't as popular as the previous black orange Techcraft release from Nike. Following on with what was a popular release was the Liquid Chrome Pack. Now the Hypermenums in the Liquid Chrome Pack were metallic red bronze, green glow and black. The green glow was very difficult to see but would give us an idea about a future release for the Hypermenums coming up. The sock part of these boots was quite intricate with the kind of browns and the coppers and the bronzes all mixed together. Did look quite nice and it also it certainly worked well with the upper of the boots. The Hypervenom graphic was back on the sole plate again, back on the side. With the Osudia Allegri release, Neymar got another set of boots that were specifically made for him. He didn't really wear them on pitch, but these were made in collaboration with Bruno Big. It's all about that Osudia Allegri with the heart and the fist. They had the Neymar logo on the side. They had a nice little campaign um, where they gave away some custom boxes with um, different spray painted graphics on the top and that was all part of a Bruno Big kind of art project with the boxes to do with the launch of these boots. The sole plate was a little bit different. It had the red and the black combined. It didn't have any of that hypervenom graphic. Nike brought out a specific Robert Lewandowski pair of hypervenoms. They weren't available to the public but the player did wear them himself. The Bayern Munich Forward had a kind of Poland inspired design with the red and black 
on the upper of his hugging venom. It's a very standout release for him. Unfortunately, they weren't available to everybody. Perhaps when he's going to be headlining Hugging Venom Phantom 3s, we might see some more custom versions available for him in those, and let's look forward to that. A black and red half version of the Hyper Venom would look stunning. These are the green glow metal flash pack so that was that green glow that i was talking about pulled through from the liquid chrome the colorway was green glow hyper orange metallic silver and this is a really popular release a lot of people really like these the green of the hyper venoms was definitely one of the most popular hyper venoms in the whole hyper venom 2 release and it accented quite nicely with the silver the graphic again with these was on the on the sole and they really looked a very nice release back to the tech craft and nike released their kind of monochrome uh, release which had the white at the front and the black at the back. The white was referred to as light bone and it was a little bit of an off-white color. These are probably the least popular of the Techcraft Phantoms that have been released. Nike had some problems with the white and the black getting kind of mixed into each other so there was quite a few returns of these. Um, overall there's nothing different between these and the canvas and the original releases. It's purely colorway and I think that people didn't necessarily want the white leather as much as they wanted the black. Talking about black, something that was super popular was the Academy Pack. So there was no on-pitch player support by any Nike players, but these sold out very quickly. People loved the concept of the black Phantoms, and there was just a little bit of bolt in the heel, uh, in the sorry, in the studs. But otherwise, it was just a black, black, black boot. Very, very popular, and a lot of people got them for their academies or just wanted to wear them because they looked stunning. Switching up the colors, Radiant Reveal ended up with a white upper and then little accents using the vault, the orange and the pink and it went from one to the other in the hypervenom graphic. It's very nicely put together and we saw this sole plate on these hypervenoms which is a really standout feature of them. Otherwise you're looking at a white upper with a black dynamic fit collar but people really appreciated the kind of rainbow effect of the colors on these boots. As you can see here on the sole plate I was talking about, you go from that vault to the orange to the pink. Really standout use of the colors. Now to go with those were the women's radiant reveals and they used white, total orange and vault and it's kind of like a kind of green teal colored on there as well and they just used that color fade that we saw on the men's version and it worked very well. Nice pair of boots for the women. They didn't really get much on pitch support. They weren't worn in any major tournaments but they were a very nice looking boot that perhaps a few of you may not have seen before. In a bit of a surprise drop, we saw Jamie Vardy wearing a pair of Hyper Venom Phantoms in a camo colorway. It was almost like a kind of desert camo colorway. He wore them in the international fixture for England against Holland. He scored a goal in them. Uh, England lost the game 2-1 against the Dutch, but Vardy scored and these were only worn for like that one game, I think. Um, they weren't really supported by any other players on pitch. Vardy was the only player to support these even um, in the pack. No other players wore anything else out of the pack. They were quite a standout release and one of the more popular um, kind of limited versions of the Hyper Venom that came out. Nike revealed something brand new for soft ground boots and it was their anti-clog technology. They made this really standout pack of Hyper Venoms, Tiempos and Magistas that use the technology and it has this um, anti-clog traction sole plate so the mud was supposed to slide off it rather than to stick. Really beautiful black release highlighted in the bowl and then a very kind of shimmering graphic in the Hyper Venom and on the Nike Swishes. Really classy kind of uh, anti-clog release that was very good for soft ground. You could get soft ground versions of these Spark Brilliances. Um, you also had the general release with the firm ground. The firm ground version had the Hyper Venom graphic on the sole plate whilst the anti-clog version had that more uh, black sole plate that couldn't take the graphic because of that anti-clog technology. These are a really popular release seen on pitch with the Volt Upper black and the Hyper Turquoise. A little bit of a color fade in that Hyper Venom graphic as well. Very popular with players on pitch and um, people buying boots for themselves. Now Leicester City won the league and Nike decided to make a specific Vardy Mares uh, combination. So both of the players wore the Hyper Venoms and they did one black, one white boot and that was in celebration of Leicester City winning the league. Nike made the boot specifically for Vardy and Mares. So overall in the Hyper Venoms, Vardy actually got to wear quite a few little custom versions, um, perhaps a few more than some other players that you would have expected. For the Olympics, Nike made a women's specific Spark Brilliance pack. As part of that, we had the white upper on the Hypervitams with the red Nike swooshes and then the blue for the graphics. This tied in very well with the US Women's National Team soccer jersey and it was used at the Olympics in Rio. Really standout release, looked really good on feet of the women playing there. Blue laces, blue dynamic fit collar, great kind of color combination. Something that a few men would have liked to have worn if they could have, but that was a women's release. Talking about the Olympics and Neymar got his Neymar Jordans made for him to wear at the Olympics. 
had the 10 on the one side for his Brazilian national team number. On the side, they had this kind of more of a shark um, graphic rather than the Hypervenom graphic. On the back, they had the red Jumpman logo, along with the 23, which was Jordan's number when he played basketball. Really nice looking black pair of boots. It had the kind of concrete sole plate with a little splatter effect on it again. It looked very nice. Talking about looking nice, you've got the pitch dark pack. So these were a black pair of Hypervenoms which had vault accents on the Nike swooshes, just a little bit of vault on that dynamic fit collar. It's very similar to the Academy pack release, very popular. With the Nike swooshes, they were slightly reflective, as was the Hypervenom graphics on the side. So quite a subtle release, but also quite stand out and looked very sharp on people who decided to buy them. Nike brought out the Elite pack near the start of the 16-17 season, and only a few players were chosen to wear these. Uh, Neymar was supposed to wear these, but he wore more of a finished version of them. Have the grey dynamic fit collar and quite a silver effect to the Hypervenom graphics on the side. And then on the sole plate that was in the vault. Vault was trimmed on the Nike swooshes, also had vault on the laces. And they were really nice release as part of the Elite Pack. And it was black and vault combined on that sole plate as you can see there. The next release was the Floodlights pack, and that meant we had a total crimson, vivid purple, obsidian colorway. Again, it had that kind of rainbow flow of colors going from the heel to the toe. Purple looked really nice with the orange, and then in, even into like a darker purple. The Hypervenom graphic was in that total orange. The sole plate had that color fade on it again, so you were looking at having purple at the rear of the sole plate, going to that kind of deep blue obsidian at the front. Again, it looked quite nice, perhaps not quite as stunning as we saw in the Radiant Reveals. Neymar was back at it again with his white version of the Neymar Jordans. This time around we saw that 11 on the side and that was because he was to wear these at Barcelona and that is his club jersey number. It had very similar upper to the other ones. It had that sharp kind of graphic on the side again. Jumpman logo on the heel with the 23 for Jordan. The dynamic fit collar was in the grey. They had the white main upper, grey again for the Nike swooshes. And it had a red concrete style sole plate this time. Jumpman logo on there again with that splatter looked great. Nike brought out the Techcraft 2.0 pack, which was the first time that we saw the Hypervenom uh, flyknit layer taken out, and the leather itself went right on top of the flywire, and these boots were then combined with a dynamic fit collar to make a really stunning release. It had that Allegria upper, upper with a slightly embossed uh, upper used as well, and it just gave you a really nice soft touch. And on the sole plate, we used the silver and the black, along with the Hypervenom graphic, it looked stunning again, and the Nike swoosh was on there and that came out very nice with a kind of slightly uh, inset look. The last pair of boots we're looking at are the Dark Lightning release, and that was available in the Anti-Clog and the regular. The Dark Lightnings were predominantly black with the Paramount Blue and Electric Green combined together. This pretty much wraps up all of the Hypermen and Phantom 2s we've seen. Which was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you're looking forward to the next release of the Hypermen and Phantom 3. Go enjoy your football.